If you've been studying English for even a short amount of time, I am sure most of you already know most of the bad words. After all, it's one of the first things that people learn when they're studying a new language. But most of you are probably not familiar with the polite ways that native speakers curse. I know, I know, that might sound like a strange thing to say. How can one curse in a polite way? Well, vulgar language is generally frowned upon in many situations in American life, such as the workplace, school, religious services, etc. Because of this, some native speakers replace many common curse words with innocent sounding phrases that actually mean the same thing. They just sound more polite. So in this video, I'm going to be teaching you guys some of those words and phrases, specifically the ones that are most commonly used. So let's begin. Okay, instead of saying fuck, fuck you, fucking, some native speakers will say these words instead. The first one being frick, a polite version of fuck. You know what, frick them. Frick them, I'm one of them. The second one is fudge, also a polite version of fuck. Fudge this, fudge this whole thing raw. The third one is frigging, the polite version of fucking. No friggin' way. So, for example, you can say, my frigging roommate is always so loud. But now, let's talk about the polite versions of shit and holy shit. Instead of saying shit, some Americans would say shoot instead. Oh, shoot, shoot. Shoot. And instead of saying holy shit, they would say holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> holy cow. Another polite version of holy shit is holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. Holy guacamole. <laughs> guacamole is a very popular dipping sauce in the United States. It's made with avocados and people eat it with tortilla chips. Now let's move on to the next word. Instead of saying hell, what the hell, etc., some native speakers will replace it with the word heck. What the heck? Sick as heck. And the last one is son of a bitch. I am sure you guys have heard this one many times in movies, TV shows, etc. Well, the polite version of son of a bitch is actually son of a gun. Junkie son of a gun was there over a month on my dime. Son of a gun. But as always, make sure to pay attention to tone, context, the body language, etc. when you hear these words. Because sometimes native speakers will say these things in a joking manner. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. And if you want more English learning videos such as this one, please subscribe to our channel.